Americans love to pamper their pets. Happy birthday, Sunny. In 2006 alone, we spent more than $38 billion feeding, grooming, pampering, entertaining, and generally caring for them. Mmm, that's good. But there are thousands of forgotten dogs and cats who end up here at animal shelters. Most are strays. Stray dog complaints are a dime a dozen. There goes another one down the street. Some are turned in by owners who are moving. Uh, the owner couldn't keep the cat because the landlord said that they couldn't anymore. Others just came from a litter nobody wanted. You see things like mange and, and distemper and parvo and things like that. For these animals, life in the shelter is terrifying. And it usually ends up in death. Come on, baby. Come on. At times it seems like it's never ending. The statistics are shocking. On average, more than 70% of the cats that come into animal shelters end up being put to sleep. Even more astounding in our dog-centric country, more than half of all dogs brought into shelters end up euthanized dead. Sadly, when it comes to saving shelter animals, the Los Angeles metropolitan area is the worst. About 100,000 animals were euthanized in the LA area in 2005. That's more than any other metropolitan area in the United States. Tragically, Los Angeles, first in so many wonderful ways, is also number one when it comes to killing the most helpless. This despite the best efforts of shelter workers and rescuers. Every time we work so hard for a big litter, like this litter that we have here is 11 puppies, 11 puppies. Every time we place an animal into a wonderful loving home, there's 12 phone calls waiting for me for more puppies that need homes. I have been doing rescue for almost 50 years. I was running the Pets of the Week column and trying to find homes for them. <laughs> I work day and night. It's just sometimes overwhelming. My poor husband, he says we can't take it anymore. They would call me in the middle of the night, Joy, we have a dog, Joy, we have a dog. It's still never ending. You know, I, I don't know when's the last time I've been able to go on a trip through South Central or East LA on a way to go somewhere without having to pick up a stray dog on the way. Let's go get the kitty. A lot of kittens coming into our shelters, a lot of them. A lot of them. They, they bring them in by the boxes. Since you've gone, I just hang on. In wonder what to do with the hours of my day. Thankfully, a growing number of Angelinos are saying enough. Only God knows how much I need you. Only time will heal all my wounds. There is a bold new effort to reduce the wholesale killing of healthy dogs and cats by implementing on a massive scale the most effective prevention strategy there is, spaying and neutering. Thanks to a grant made possible by PetSmart Charities, the Spay Los Angeles Initiative is underway. Its mission, to create and staff eight high-volume spay-neuter clinics in the areas of Los Angeles where they are most desperately needed, primarily low-income areas with the highest number of strays and unneutered pets and the fewest veterinary clinics. The female, the litter. These areas represent the largest source of animals entering local shelters. Planners have already identified the first clinic site in South Los Angeles. The fact that it's free is it's a good thing. Knowing that, then definitely be a more responsible decision to have it spayed or neutered, so I'd probably get that done. Caring and experienced veterinarians will staff these clinics and achieve a high volume of surgeries through careful planning and precision teamwork. He is a fast surgeon, I'll tell you what. Each clinic will be able to handle a minimum of 80 sterilizations per day, 
achieving a goal of 18,000 spay neuter operations per clinic per year. The five year goal, more than half a million surgeries. We all know sterilization prevents pregnancy, but we may not fully appreciate the exponential impact every single surgery has. One set of puppies, if they're not spayed and neutered within nine years, it is something like nine million animals, over nine million. On and on it would go. So it's clear this project will radically reduce shelter intake numbers. Got one adoption? Pet Smart Charities has gotten the ball rolling with an enormously generous commitment, pledging $13.8 million over five years, with the hope of attracting matching funds to make this dream a reality. If we have the clinics open to the public, people will come. It's up to generous and caring Californians to stand up and pitch in so these innocent, helpless pets have a chance. This life-saving and groundbreaking project will inspire communities around the nation to follow suit. A lot of people don't spay neuter because they can't afford it, and the clinics are so important. You can be a part of history in the making. Every pet that's born deserves to be wanted. They can't ask for help themselves, so we're asking for them. Some things in life are meant to be, only fools believe in change. We do it because we love animals. I trust in your heart cause it's out of my hands. Only God knows how much I need you. And only angels come out of the blue. But if destiny has a name.